Marcel has returned to possibly kill me with two different whiny beers. Yeah, this is going to be a fucked up vlog. <gasps> what be going down, people of the world? My name is Redbeard. This is Marcel. Hello, and world. this is a daily drink vlog for the first beer of the today. We have got a bottle of Two Tons of Fun American Long Boil Barley Wine by the Bose All Natural Brewing Company. This is going to be so not tasty for my mouth. Oh, this is going to be great. Suck it up, princess. Oh. Look at that there. Let's crack her open. Yeah, that's happening. I don't think I've ever tried barley wine on the ch I know I've had it at some point before in my life. The, clo the closest thing I've probably had is cuvee, which was the Nickel Brook. What kind of pour was that? Was the bad one? My god. So, mead is essentially barley wine. Let's see what we have got here. It doesn't seem super... Super scary. I will go about that far and you can top yours up with what's left in there. I imagine there's probably a bit of sediment in there. Like my this is not not clear, but not super hazy. Like it's it's kinda clear. It smells like a doppelbock off the start. It really does. Oh, it so does. Like, yeah, so I'm kind of hoping for tastiness. It's got a nice red color on it, though. It is a nice color. Like I said, it's not it's not clear, but it's not completely. Like, I can see my fingers, kind of the haze. It's deep, deep kind of red color. Yeah, and the... The smell is actually pretty nice. Oh, I'm yes. I'm very surprised. Let's give her a shot. Wow. What were you afraid of? That is surprisingly okay. I was I was afraid of the whiny part of it. I don't oh. like wine. The next one will be wind up for you. And then we got a whiny bastard coming up too. Oh yeah. Well, you haven't had this. No. Yeah. Let's do this. Cheers, Marcel. Cheers, Cheers everybody. Cheers to the world. Yeah, it's got a very kind of. It's a very <coughs> thick. Mouthfeel. Mm. I find. What's what? that? You definitely get the barley. You definitely get that flavor. And it's unique. It's not really like any of the other beers. It's just like super malty. Like, 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 you know, there's like that, there's like really good caramel kind of. This is almost like, it's almost too much caramel and like the malty flavor. It's, it's insane. Very different. What? Still, it's it's good. It's like, only it's only about six months seller, and I do have another bottle that's waiting. It is at a high enough percentage that you can do such a thing at uh, ten percent. I'll, I'll give you the honors of reading okay. some of the. Uh... Check this out. Excuse me. Nice multi brew. Mm. The Bose Brewers teamed up with our friends Van and Ben from Gigantic Brewing in Portland to brew this American-style barley wine made with two metric tons of pale ale malt and eight patient hours of boil time. This full-bodied, luxuriant brew exhibits flavors of treacle, caramel, citrus, and raisins in a combination that is reminiscent of figgy pudding. The lingering finish is warming yet soft. I kind of agree with that. There is like a bit of a raisin taste to it. Raisin fig. I never really of... thought of that, but 
really cool. Like, it's on there too, but just a little whale on his bike. That's awesome. Well, I love Bose. Like, they do such great collaborations as far as the Bose goes. does pretty much great everything. Like, look at your fucking... Oh, I know. Marcel has a shirt that is pretty much sold out all the time right now. And I almost want to, like, break the bottle, stab him, and then take it. That would probably get me a whole lot of views on this vlog. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, death of Marcel. definitely do okay. something, yeah. But then it would also have me in jail to not reap the rewards of those views, so... But the thing with both, they're organic, they, they're creative, they're they're great. If you ever get a chance to be in the Ottawa area, go for a tour. It's fucking awesome. You can definitely tell this beer is a little bit on the stronger side. It's a little kick. But it doesn't, it doesn't have a 10.5% kick. It definitely does not taste that strong. And we have ingredients here as well. Local spring water, organic barley, malts, organic hops, and brews yeast. And the package date was, like Marcel said, March of this year. Oh, so and even like nine months. So it's it's a little bit aged, but th this is the kind of beer you could probably in a in a, in a nice dark, cool place. Not out in the light, where it's gonna. Yeah. This is a very surprisingly tasty beer. Like I said I was quite, I was quite scared. Still bloody terrified of beer number two. I'm not sure why I agreed to beer number two. Beer number two might take a little bit longer. Yeah, this this is not going to be a super short vlog. We're recording uh, right now about eight minutes. Almost on the first beer. I'm gonna fucking rip the face off this fruit fly. Do they have faces? That is like taunting me. If they have, I'll find it. I've said before, I will get a microscope and use it is expressly for the purpose of torturing a fruit fly. With the legs on, the wings on, bastards. Yeah, I saw a little kick like, in the beginning it was like, oh, nice and smooth, and now that it's coming down there, it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's kind of the, like, the, the strongness and the flavor. Every time you take a drink, it's like, it, it's getting stronger, kind of, on the palate, it feels like, like that. It almost, it's almost the same feeling one would get, like, not right after, but say, like, a minute after taking a hard shot or something. Mm. That kind of tingliness on my tongue that's happening right now. Well done. <laughs> uh, that's Should we come to the last? Oh. It's his idea for the second beer of the today. What is this? This is. The loneliness. By three blocks. Russian. Oh, fucking. I forgot about that word. Russian Imperial. Oh. Red wine barrel. Oh, just. I'll do, I'll do that. And you just, just, just wrote it. So I need to read it over. So for beer number two, we have the loneliness, which is a Russian Imperial oh. stout aged in red wine barrels. Fuck. Wine part two. Crack this bitch open and see what we get. Oh, oh. I didn't even <laughs> nothing, nothing. It's gonna be one of those just. Oh, Christ! I didn't realize this was a Russian Imperial Stout coming into this. I knew it was something kind of scary, but at the same time. Oh, Christ! 
Oh god, she gave a little look at that. It looks like Black Death. Oh, you get more. Oh, that's fantastic. Please, sir. Why not? Cause it's like tar. Yay for more. Oh. By three block. God. God damn everything <laughs> right now. Like, seriously. That Bo's beer was decent? Oh. Holy crap. That smells like turpentine. Oh, it smells holy it, cow. It, I'm literally getting a sense of some kind of paint thinner. I think it's Bretonicus. I don't three care. Three big on the Bretts. It smells like a hardcore, like, restricted <laughs> chemical that you can't just go out and buy. Oh my god, dude. Let's give her a shot. What the fuck? Oh, that's so good. You got the red wine right at the end. Mm. Imperial Stout Red Wine. Russian. Oh yeah, Russian, yeah. yeah. Oh my fuck. Dude. It's, it's, it's... It's like a light version of the whiny bastard. It's like drinking beer-flavored scotch or something. Like, just... Beer-flavored wine. No. Wine I'm, I'm beer. honestly getting, like, hard alcohol fucking kind of hints in the back of my throat. Cheers! Yeah. Let's do this, apparently. It's my, only like eight and a half. My best friend is the devil? <laughs> It's only like eight and a half after we just did the ten fucking and a half percent other one. Oh my. Oh. So, Three Block is big on doing Bretts. The Bretonuses. They're uh, St. Thomas, I believe. This one doesn't have a whole lot of information. It is uh, aged in red wine barrels from local vineyards. I believe it. Uh, red wine, Imperial Stout, called the Loneliness. Oh my. It's one of the recommended beers. It's it, it very good pairing. It'd be very good cooking beer. There is something kind of nice about the lingering flavors. I almost like a, a caramelly kind of... Mm -hmm. but, but that... I, I've tried the Broody and the, the Beauty oh. and the Brett. We did the Epic not so long ago, me and you. Um, a, a lot of beers I like to try, me and Carrie try off camera. Or, sorry, Red Beard try off camera. Did I just... What did you just do? <laughs> did I just fuck everything Whatever, up? I don't even care. You know what? This is vlog 350. My actual name is Carrie. I'm a guy named Carrie. That just happened. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Let's just move on from there. I'm still Redbeard, but that is my actual name. I let the cat out. <laughs> yeah. The cat is <laughs> yeah. out Mar of the bag. <laughs> Marcel just did happen. Whatever. I don't even care right now. This stuff is trying to kill me. Oh, it's so good. It's very well balanced. It's got the stout. And then that red one oh. right at the end. It just tickle your throat. It's like stabbing my throat. Oh, it's like a blowjob. Where they like tickle your balls right at the end. No. A little extra. No, it's like trying, somebody trying to like stabbing my balls. Same thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> let's go all fucking voodoo doll on your balls at the end of this fucking blowjob session. That's just... Jesus Fuck, man, this beer's insane. It's good. It's very good. For what it is, I can't deny that. But what it is, is something that... Is undesirable? For me. If you like uh. a Russian Imperial Stout, if you like a bit uh. of wine flavor... Uh. Uh. Wow, that was a lot. Then get yourself some of this. Get yourself some of that loneliness. <laughs> Doing good. That was awesome. Uh, give your fiance a few belches like that in her face, and you can experience uh, the loneliness. Yeah, you'd be single <laughs> real fast. Holy Christ! Well, it's a combination of the two beers. I figured barley wine, wine aged barrels, kind of good combination. I know you're not a big wine fan. I, I personally enjoy it very much. My mother loves her red wine. My aunt lives in wine country down near uh, Belleville, and I mean, 
being French, it's just kind of one of those things. You get enough wine, it's just in your blood. It's not in my blood. And you're what? Your potato or? More or less. Yeah. So, yeah. So vodka, I guess, or like beer still, scotch? Beer? Like, again, I, I, like, I apologize, that's, that's Any very, hard alcohol... Very racially I offensive to call you a potato. But. I don't fucking care, whatever, it's a, it's a joke. If you can't take a joke about random shit, then feel free to dislike, unsubscribe, whatever, because there's going to be a lot more of that type of shit randomly throughout the... There's been, there's been so much of that kind of random type... On my, on my first ever whatever. vlog with you, I called you Donald Trump and said that you like the beer as much as Mexicans. That's and now he's going to be the president. Hey. Yeah. Well done, USA. Glad to be Canadian. Uh, even though they're like... Oh, my Facebook. Like my personal, like my carry Facebook. <laughs> A good number of my friends are hilariously anti-Justin Trudeau. And Why? We'll, we'll the fuck Trudeau do? They will post like any thing, yeah, meme, whatever are they, they West? can. Because Western, Western Canada has this hate on because of the oil industry, because Harper and all of this. Trudeau's done great for the country. It's fucking not even a year in. It's just like anything. You can't... Can you judge what he's done under a year? You had, what, 12 years under fucking Harper? Oh, God. And you're going you're gonna to throw Trudeau under the bus. Makes Sorry, so, it makes me so sad that uh, that was it. Twelve. It, well, it was because they don't have they don't have terms. Anymore. No, I know. Like, well, that, I, I I'm okay with that, and I'm okay with that as well. I completely agree with. If somebody's like, doing Obama, Obama should have been able to run again. He should have. Putin's been in power for what? About the same amount. Even of time. even if not, like like the whole like, oh, we're gonna choose Hillary over Bernie. Yeah. Like, like really. But the, but that whole thing is all flawed to begin with. So, Obama, so much Obama the... would have won the vote again. And as, the problem as is... would, apparently from a whole bunch of production and shit, if it had been Bernie, not Hillary, Bernie would have apparently won as well. It would have made the race a lot more interesting. Because the problem is, is it, that the division wouldn't have been sex. Sexism was the main division because it was a man running against a woman. So yeah. on the front line of that, with the, 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 the leaked tapes... And I'm sorry, anybody anywhere has had an inappropriate conversation about something that they would not want to be made public. I'm not Whether it be that, in the I'm workplace, not, I'm not gonna that, in the I'm, locker room. I'm going to say right, 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 right now, Marcel has said things regarding females Marcel. that I'm sure he wouldn't want me to say. I have said things okay. that I'm sure I wouldn't That's want him to say. That's where you start. We both have said things yeah. that you would not no. like to be made public. We both. Anybody. I don't I mean, say to start out, I'm saying both of them. Of the population has said comments at least once in their life that if made public would shame them in some way. It's not locker room talk. It's like it's between. What's guy friends. talk? It's it's yeah. It's when you're sitting down and, and you're comfortable. I, and somebody... I know for a fact I have seen and heard it a couple times that females oh. can be just as, as bad, just as crude, and talking just as... about shit and oh, yeah, so... yeah, yep, 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 yep. yep. <laughs> but that doesn't condone what Trump did. Tr Trump. It's going to be interesting to see how we move forward. I don't know if Kevin. Sorry, Kevin O'Leary, who's running for the opposition to Trudeau. Is he actually doing that? Yes. He, he's in the process of doing that. He's like getting the other lawyers. Like the leader of the PC party? Leader of the PC or party. Or just not in the PC, apparently. Just the conservatives now. Right. It's not so, the PC. So, so that, he, that's actually a fact. That I could have spoke about a couple days ago, but there was like a couple other ones that I picked instead. And the Canadian Progressive Conservative Party aligned with some other party, who I can't think of off the top of my head, and became the Conservative Party of well, Canada. Because it used to be the Progressive and those Conservatives, and then they joined together, and then they separated, and now they've joined back together, and now they're Conservatives again. But Kevin O'Leary, who's from Dragon's Den, or, yeah, Dragon's Den Not fame. so and much Shark anymore. Den, Shark Tank. I was going to say, he, la he left Dragon's, Dragon's Den, Den, like, probably three years ago. Mm -hmm. Like, although he is still Canadian-slash-American citizenship, as far yep. as I know, he decided, 
only go for only support American entrepreneurs, which is like I can kind of see him maybe doing some I believe, good. I believe it has to do with scheduling. But at the same time, it's yeah, maybe. Yeah. I believe that they schedule like Robert, like the same guy. Like Robert, I thought Robert Hershevac, who I thought was a full on like. I didn't even realize he had dual He must have dual citizenship in order to be a, a shark on Shark Tank and a dragon on Dragon's Den. I don't, but, think, but, I don't think your citizenship has anything to do with your investment cube, though. Money's okay, money. Okay, okay, yeah. But he's got to have... Maybe. Just just for them to have him on the show, you'd think he's got to be... You can own real estate in the United States. Kind of money. American, you'd yeah. think. Yeah, no, I would... I, 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 I'm not certain enough know. to speak on, on behalf no, of me either. Like, the, the whole know. point of all this conversation was Kevin O'Leary is trying to run on the same platform as like what Donald Trump did. Uh, businessman, you know, let, let's make Canada great. Canada's never been not great. They're, they're, like Even though our, our downturns and how, how, how we, 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 we may, our economy may fluctuate, we're the best country in the world. And I say that with such pride. We have all of the freedoms that everyone else has. We have health care. We have all of the opportunities without any of the pitfalls. Okay, so we have winter, but I fucking love winter. Canada is amazing, and it's... It gets damn cold, but... Like, it's... it gets damn cold as opposed to... Ooh, they're, they're killing all the women and children over here. Like, I've like, been to just... all over the world. I've been to South America. I've been to Africa. Like, heart of Africa. And it makes me proud to be Canadian. When you see things like Montreal Canadiens jerseys and our, our beer shirts all over Africa because we've given it as aid so that there's people wearing it all over the world, it just goes to show how the philanthropy of Canadians is affected on such a scale. We are amazing people. And Trudeau is embodying that. I, I, I myself fully support Prime Minister Trudeau and, like, Everything that he's trying to do right now is just like give him a chance. Like, give, like, give him at least a term. I'm you not. Know? I'm not gonna. I'm, I have to say, maybe you know, don't do the pipeline shit. Unfortunately, it's, 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 unfortunately, kinda, with the pipeline stuff, but, it's those people that I commented about being on the west coast. That's giving them jobs. That turned that economy back around. Just by doing that, and there it, is it, a whole it, part of Canada it's, it's that relies just, on the it's oil just the industry. Whole, the whole, yes, but this is the, the Dakota Access the, Pipeline. Every, this everything, the, everything yes, going not, around with that right yes, now. Yes, but this and, isn't going through native burial grounds. This isn't protesters. We don't do that in Canada. That's not how yeah, we roll. No, the, 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 no the, there have been some pretty hardcore native protests in Canada. Right, and you know what? He, even here locally, my, my girlfriend's from Southern Ontario. I've been down there multiple times. There's multiple windmill farms all over the place. It is very, very predominant, even near Sault Ste. Marie. They were proposing such a thing in Mattawa. The natives protested, sorry, the, the different bands protested. They came together and said, we're opposed to that. This is some of our area. and We feel like strongly we shouldn't do that. The proposition got abolished. They, they, they didn't even go forward. They didn't even serve. It's not going to happen. Here in Canada, we respect our native Canadians. It's something that, in the States, they didn't really help with the revolution. The white man it came... It was the whole, like... When the white man came, the whole, they, like, they the evicted whole, the British. The whole Attawas, uh, Attawas Attawas cat, cat. Yeah. The water price and stuff yes, that happened. but that's because they chose to just, settle there. Katzine said in his documents, prior to being Prime Minister, that they should be relocated. That it would be more economically valuable to move them to another area. We put them on the reserve there. It was a mistake. We fucked up. We put them in an area where they had bad water. It should have been. I didn't moved. realize that. Well, it was. I didn't know that. That like that where they are is where we put them. What we reserved them. Like the reserves were. No, I know. I know the whole reserve thing. But I just didn't realize that like that was. Yeah, we're gonna put you on a reserve, like four hundred kilometers away from everybody else. Well, it was just to isolate them. Cause good so for you know what? I always did like Jean Chrétien, and good for him for being like. Because he was the indigenous people why, minister. Why do we put them way out the, there? Uh, 70s and 80s. Regardless, that's that. You know what? In the whole, in, I agree with you, wholeheartedly. In the whole scheme of things, Canada 
the best like, person in the world. Yeah, pretty much. Perfect. And if you disagree, then you're then from fuck you. You're from somewhere else. And in that spirit of things, drink down for the last of this insane beer. From a mildly insane brewery here in Canada it was a it's block three brewery, block three brewery. Where, where are there? Uh, Saint Thomas. It's wow. It says it. That is the smallest font I've ever seen in my life. No, it's Saint Jacques. Saint Jacobs. Yeah, that's right. I apologize. That's I right. always thought no, it's, it's not Saint Thomas. It's Saint Jacobs. It's fine. Whatever. It's um the home of one of the largest, I believe, Mennonite. There's a lot of Saint name places here. It, it's a Canada. it's a large Mennonite um like flea market, like like the size of like Mennonites ripped me off one time. Oh, they will. Don't. Don't, the, don't, don't bash the Mennonites. Don't, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say don't. No, don't don't, don't go. walk away from a Mennonite sale without making sure that your change is correct. Just random advice from someone who's been ripped off in the past kind of thing. So, loneliness, what do we got? I, loneliness, I give it eight and a half. It was very good. Its flavors, I think, should have had a much more predominant wine flavor. It it's, says wine on the bottle. It's actually got, like, lingering flavors in my mouth are more of a coffee flavor than a winey flavor. Like, now, it's on the bottle, you got fuck all. You got no ingredients. You got really nothing. It says the loneliness, and it says what it did is. You, did you buy it at the brewery? It was bought at the brewery. There you go. Marcel purchased this beer. And so it's one of those things where you could, like... If I if he had asked them, which it's if if he buys me more beer from now on, I've told him, please do that. But you know, get get the date and ingredients from them but on if, that if same, you can. On that but, same token, this was purchased at the brewery. As well, has a date, has ingredients, has the bullshit. Yeah, but the same thing. Like either one, you can ask, and we're gonna start out by a rating on two the two tons, tons of fun. fun. That one, I am. I'm gonna give that a nine because yeah. for what it was, it was mind-blowingly smooth. smooth and okay and just great. Your opinion? Yeah, nine as well. I mean, it. I. It's a nine, but I almost feel disappointed. I almost feel like it should have been more. Like I should have had that. Your fear. I, I feel like it should have been warranted, and it didn't live up to it. But it's still not. It was a great beer, good flavor. This... I'm, I'm I'm okay with the fear not being experienced. This one here, I'm gonna give it a seven. Just in that, like, like the the whole kind of really strong, winey type flavors they came through. But the flavor that's still sticking around right now, it's kind of a nice, like, just multi decency. And, like, and overall, for what it is, a whiny kind of Russian Imperial Stout, I think that is a very high rating from me for what that is. Uh, Your rating? I'm going to say eight and a half. I would have liked um, kind of a more predominant flavor. I I think my, my my Russian stout or my Russian flavor palette, the Bolsheviks are like the bastards as they were, are my like my, my golden standard. I love them. The top ten favorite beer, the, the Borshevik. Um, I do love the Kentucky and and, and the, the, the but the whiny, like I will get a whiny and we will be doing it on this vlog together. As mentioned previously, you'll see it pours red in the glass. Oh. It's purple like wine. It's got the wine flavor. It's almost like they mix that shit 50-50. So this is like an eight and a half. That wine is going to be a ten for me. It'll be like a two. That is going to be one hell of a thing <coughs> when it happens. 
that's going to do it for today's Daily Dream Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much to Marcel for coming by once again. And, you know, if you like the video, then be sure to smash that like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you guys have seen me or him, then either of us, then put some comments in the box down below. Hit but thanks up. again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. A piece of... Hey-ho! That was a very... Ranty vlog? Rant, they have a very, very whiny beer. Oh my god. God. Good god. Fuck. And you have to work at 7.30 in the morning. Woo!